Good morning everyone. I hope you're all right. This is Richard from Seeker Training. Unfortunately, I don't have a co-host today, but we will be starting very, very soon. Morning. Right. So good morning. Right, got my leg warmers on, got my sweatbands on. Gonna have, try and have some fun today. Okay, I'm a very dull day. Or should I actually just say dull, nice, inclement? Whichever the date is which you're watching it. Right, so I'll just quickly do the paperwork first. So if you haven't seen a dog's 20 authorised for exercise, please go and see one. If not, you can fill out a park you, uh, which is a health questionnaire, which is actually pinned at the top of my Facebook page or below this video if you're on YouTube or my website. Right, so that's all, uh, over and done with. Uh, let's quickly go over uh, what we were going to talk about. And I had people reminding me yesterday that it's carbohydrates and water or particularly water retention. So why do you get uh, bloated uh, when you have too many carbohydrates? Well, it's not the carbohydrates themselves. They do absorb an awful lot of water, but it's what happens in your body when it changes it into the energy that it stores. Uh, and I'm not gonna go into the details of that because I think I might leave that till Monday, the, the uh, ins and outs of that bit. So, what happens is when it actually goes through your liver, it gets changed into what's called a, a glycogen. Glycogen bonds to water to create the energy. It bonds to one gram of carbohydrates when it gets changed, bonds to three to four grams of water. So the more you store in your body, the, mo the more uh, poofy you are. And when you release it from storage, particularly in the fat cells and the adipose fat, the uh, fat around the outside, the bit of the wobbly stuff. Uh, when you release it, you lose water. So when people go on fad diets, they cut out carbohydrates completely and utterly, and suddenly within two days, they feel a bit thinner. They've lost almost a, a full stone or uh, about three kilos, but that is mainly water weight. Uh, and it's, that is called ketosis i.e. that's why where you get the idea of the keto diet from. Uh, the problem with that is you've got to be careful, especially if you've got diabetes type 1. If you go into ketosis, you can create, uh, your insulin levels will drop and you can go into what's called ketone acid acidosis, which is very, very dangerous and deadly to a person who has uh, diabetes type 1 and very, very dangerous and it can turn deadly if you've got diabetes type 2. Okay, if you are on keto or low carbs and you feel faint, tired all the time, your breath smells of pear drops or uh, nail polish, seek a doctor quickly. They do recommend that if you've got diabetes of any sort and you're, on, uh, you're restricting your carbs, you check your blood, sh uh, blood sugar levels uh, three or four times a day. Okay, just so you keep yourself safe. Right, so I hope that's all uh, sorted. We will talk about uh, the amount of calories that you hold in your body in energy on Monday. Right, so shall we get down to it? Right, we've got 10 exercises. We're gonna uh, up it a little bit. We're gonna do uh, 55 seconds of work and 10 seconds of changing over. So I've gotta be really quick in the explanations. Right, so I hope everyone's all right. I've got some people who are actually coming to watch the YouTube later on, so for you, what? Hello! And for everyone else, hello! Right, so let's start warming up then, shall we? Yeah. Right, let's march on the spot. Right, I'm actually now on the, on the subject of uh, injury and things like that from the other day. I'm actually feeling really, really great, which means that puts me in a dangerous position. If I do too much too soon, I'll end up at square one. So, I may not do all the exercises as said. I may regress it to myself because I don't want to end up back at square one. Let's do high knees. So, please excuse me if I uh, regress my own exercises, but you have to know your own limits, especially when you've had an injury. So yes, as I said, I'm at the uh, stage where it can be more dangerous than not. 
because people think, yeah, I can do it now. I've been fine for 12 hours. Really? Okay, add three days onto that and you might have a chance. Right, let's go wider. Keep those arms moving. Higher, wider and wider. Brilliant. Right, let's go reach overs. I'm going to start sticking the, the old toe out this time. Try and stretch that back a little bit. So today we're going to need dumbbells, water, and if you want to, a chair. Now let's push forward. A little bit of a bounce in those knees. Support with your hands at the top. That's it. Excellent. Since we're actually upping it an extra 15 seconds per set, uh, per set, you may find that you might need a rest until you get going. Brilliant. Right, back to marching. Let's do some little star jumps, shall we? Half star jumps. Get up to the sides. Full star jumps. That's if you want to. If you don't want to, you don't have to. Remember, if you don't want to, you can always do star step out. Let's get our blood going. Oh, I haven't turned the the disco lights on, I'll turn it on now. Keep marching on the spot now. Marching on the spot. There we go. Feels a little bit more fun, doesn't it? And anyway, it's not enough of me looking silly. I might as well have some flashing lights as well. Let's go. Knee to elbow. Good. Right, for the first set of exercises I'll explain in a few seconds. Oh, excuse me, a little burp there. Sorry for me being so rude. Right, so keep marching on the spot. The first exercise, what we're going to do, we're going to get into a squat position. What we're going to do, we're going to hop, out, squat. Swap legs, hop, out, squat. If you don't want to do the impact, you can go squat down, bum kick, squat down, bum kick. Okay, so you're going squat back, bum kick, squat back, bum kick. Are you ready? Three, Three two, two, one. one. Uh, Exercise hop, one. Squat, just like hopscotch, but on the spot. Keep that tummy tight to stra stabilize that back. Brilliant. 30 seconds left. It's a bit longer, isn't it? But 55 seconds. Close enough. 15 seconds isn't a great amount of time unless you're working hard. Ten seconds. Morning, Jack. Sorry, Three, I just saw the message. Two, one. Change Brilliant. Exercise. Right. We're gonna do shoot backs. So we're gonna go bike. Kick your bottom bike as you go bike. Three, two, we'll be one. Exercise Throwing our arms two. back into a tricep extension, and then we're gonna swap. So it's shoot, shoot, shoot. So stick that bottom back. So you're trying to straighten your leg at the back. That's it, good. How do I look? Do I look good? Do I look jazzy? Good. 
12 seconds. Remember, because it's a different time, get a rest, have a quick breather. It's up to you. Three, We've upped it two, a little bit. One, change Excellent, brilliant. Sunshine squats next. So we're going to start with our uh, weight in a squat position downwards. So we lift up. Two, we're going to go one, round up and then start three. with it down and then reverse it. So as soon as you start moving, start making that circle. And let's get going. Try and stick that bottom back. Keep the weights nice and close to your body in the line that is going up from your feet. As you can see, I start rounding as I stand up and I get to the top. And as I round down, I go back down again. Twenty seconds. Excellent, good, keep it up. So I'm sticking my bottom back. I'm just trying to miss my knees. Three, two, one, change exercise. Excellent, right, we're gonna do the boogie. So I'll stand shoulder width apart, and we're gonna kick, hip, kick our hip out of one side, two, and push down the other one. side. And we're going to the other side. Lift your heel up a little bit where you're actually putting the weight. That's it, good. It's a bit like the dirty dancing where it's going to carry Jennifer Lynn, is it? That's it, 20 seconds left. I hope you're all out of breath, because I am. Five, four, three, two, one. Right, this one's easy one. Alternating shoulder press. We're starting five. Three, two, two. One, one and go. exercise five. You might find the next one, your shoulders will ache a little bit. So you might want to do a couple of these. Take a breather and go back. I'm going to boo you a little bit. You don't have to. That's it, keep it going. I miss my little helper, she got up late. Bit grouchy. Not like Ella. 12 seconds. 10. I bet you've had a rest, haven't you? 3. three oh, no, it's 3. 2. two one. What brilliant right we're going to do flight. So what we're going to do is we're going to Bend over on one leg, so I'm going to keep my green one down, my pink one's going to go up, Three, and I'm going to go two, up like Superman. One. Exercise and then you six. swap. Try to keep your tummy tight, don't hyperextend the back, so you're not throwing yourself out. You're just trying to lift those shoulders up. Point those toes back if you can. You really do work the glutes if you point the toes. I think we'll all really deserve the, the break after this, won't we? 20 seconds. Ten. Even I'm getting a little bit tight in the arms. Whoops, Three, I'm a bit wobbly. Two, one. Change exercise. Excellent. Last one. Uh, well, not last one, sorry. Exercise seven. So you so actually just doing set seven. We're going to do three, hand turnovers. Two, one. So I'll turn it exercise back. Exercise seven. So you're going to hurt your shoulder even more. If this hurts too much, put them lower down. Okay? So just try your best. So a bit of a locomotion. 
Not a commotion. I have to take this headband off, it's making me sweat like no business. Brilliant. Keep it up. My shoulders are really going to work hard today. Five seconds. Three, two, two one. one. Excellent. Good. Right, what we're going to do is, I'm going to take this off. Right, we're going to do twisting naked uppercuts. Three. So Nice, two, like wide stance, we're going to do one, two, Exercise three, four, so one side, one, two, three, four, to the other side. Keeping your tummy tight. Make sure you've got those uh, weights really stabilised in your hand. Keep it going. 17 seconds left. So you're trying to keep your hips as still as possible. You won't keep them fully hip still when you're twisting. But we're trying to work the obliques Three, two, and the spine. One. Really exercise. right, what we're gonna do is stay in the same stance a little bit wider maybe. Think facing outwards. What we're going to do is we're going to do split steps, take the boogie. So we're going to roll one. our hands around. Exercise nine. And go down. I'm looking the back direction. Go back. Look in that direction. And let's keep going. So a lot of twisting motions at the moment. You can see I slowly go, slightly go back slightly on myself. That's because I like to stretch my abs at the same time and also get a nice little hyperextension there. Twelve seconds, ten seconds, sorry. I'm ready for a drink, I don't know about you. Three. Mine's a martini. Two, Shake us the Change exercise. Right, last exercise. Right, we're going to put the weights down. We're going to do the caterpillar. Three, two, wow. one. I'll have to pause exercise it for a second. Ten. Right, caterpillar is what we're going to do. Is we're going to do normal inchworm. We go bend at the waist, walk out, and as you get to this point here, walk in with your feet. If you bend your legs a little bit, it doesn't matter. Then you turn around and you do it again. If you don't want to do that, Go to the chair, keep your tummy tight, walk out, walk in. Keeping your tummy tight at all times, try to keep your back nice and straight. Don't round that back. Come on, you're not, you're not doing that. Are you ready? And let's see how it go. I'm going to do the caterpillar. So nice and straight, then up, nice and straight. The hardest bit is getting up from that bit. I find, because you can let yourself fall down into your fingertips. But when you get to here, you're going to push yourself up with the fingertips. Because I've got one leg that is hard. Twenty seconds. If you find that you get dizzy, go to the chair one. Mind your head when you come up as well. Three, two. Oh, there we go. One. Perfect timing. Water break. Hope that was all right for you. And let's have a quick one minute water break. So it's only a reduced water break as well. Very hard to do that caterpillar without rounding your back so you've got to be careful of that. Keep your tummy tight at all times. Right, so we've got 30 seconds to do hot squats. Oh, you really did work today. (laughs) 
Oh, excuse me. Running those again. I have no idea why hay fever activates more in me when it rains. Maybe pushing the pollen inside. I don't know. But anyway, hop squats in three, three two, two, one. one. So it's Exercise hop, one. squat down. Hop. You don't have to go too far down because it's a very intense exercise. The lower down you go, the more you work. Now, every so often you can go down. I used to do this for a few of my classes to force them to go down to really work. But as you can probably tell with our last run through, it was hard enough as it is. It was quite energetic. I'm used to this now, so I can't stop doing it. I will do. Five. Three. three two, two. One. one. Back to the weight. Exercise. Shoot back. So you basically your front foot never really moves. So back. Three. Extend. Two, drop one. extension. Exercise back. two. And swap. That's it. And let's go. How are you thighs? Thirty seconds. Twenty. Fifteen. Exercise. Brilliant. What well, we we'll keep the weight, sorry. Sunshine squat. Three, two, one. Now squat position. Exercise three. Up, round. You're trying to keep your facing forward at all times. So you don't want to pivot round like that. You're just going round and together. Actually, I can make a lovely sunshine wearing this top. How are you not doing? All right, I hope. 20 seconds left. Ten seconds. Hello to all the lurkers out there. Three. Three. Two. One. Change exercise. Excellent. Right, we're going to do the boogie. So remember, it's hip kick at one side. In the opposite direction, push Three, down, lift that top two, uh, heel off, one. and then swap the other side. Four. It's a little bit of a rest. If you want a, more of a workout, you can really pull those. Whoops, <laughs> I was trying to talk at the same time. Oh, I can't do this now. <laughs> so, if you want a bit more of a workout, you pull the elbows up a bit higher. It's hard to do stuff like this in uh, multiple things at once. Talk and then think about doing something else. Twelve seconds. Ten. Five. Oh, yes, you might have noticed Three, on the two, one. on the test card Change at the beginning. Right, we do alternate shoulder presses. I have a new graphic Three, part of it. Two, we have a number. One. Exercise Welcome five. to number 35 of the, of the canned workouts. 35! That's a lot. But I bet you're wondering, oh, why? Special people in the, in the few, part of your jar who think, what are you doing three a week? 
Why is he now a multiple of three? First couple of weeks we only did two. There you go. Nice sweet answer. Keep it going. If you get tired, you can always punch down. Right? It's easier, it works your back in a slightly different way. 10 seconds. We've got flight coming up. Five seconds. Not in five Three, seconds. Two. But there nine. we go, we're gonna change now. Change exercise. Get some blood back into your shoulders. And we do flight, so remember it. Nice and lift up. Tummy Three, tight. I'm back two, again. One. Exercise six. Need to look away from those flashing lights. Start to make me feel dizzy. Also, you probably want to see my better side. There we go, better side. <laughs> oh, wrong way around. Shoulders nice and warm yet. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Change exercise. Brilliant. Right, what we're going to do is hand turn all this. So opening the door. Oh, it's locked. So I can't open the door. Two, one. <laughs> exercise seven. Hand turn all this. The temperature's jumped up because it's drizzling. I can feel the temperature, it really has jumped up in, especially in my kitchen at the moment. I would put the extractor fan on, but it's very noisy, you won't be able to hear anything. Remember, if you get tired shoulders, do it down like that, as long as you're turning your shoulders. This is more of the working of the, you're actually forcing the rotator cuff as well, and your bicep to work under strain, it's a lot more effective than down, but sometimes you need a rest. I don't begrudge people that, well the trainers will, they'll shout at you, swear at you, tell you you're dead. Three, Three two, two, one, change exercise. Excellent. Right, twisting naked, speed up cuts. Three, two, one. Remember it's Exercise four, eight. two, three, four, twist, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Whew. That's it, good, keep it going. Fifteen seconds left. So you can see my arms, are, I'm quite exaggerated with the movements. One, they don't get too fast so I can control them. Also you work the joints a lot more and you work Three, your more muscles. Two, one. Right, side step, Change circular exercise. boogie. So I split step, so instead of actually changing the split step, that's why I've changed Three, it ever so slightly. Two, one, exercise nine. I'm gonna roll down and up. Beforehand I had one foot facing forward, I'm just have to change it. Because this is easy, you don't have to change your stance, and you're still working the exact same way. What you're just doing is you're mirroring, mirroring one side of your body with the other. And what I want to do is, I want you to change the direction of the rotation of your barrel, of your hands. No, oh, yes, that's really put on the cat among the pigeons, doesn't it? Did your brain suddenly think, which direction am I going in? Yeah. Ten seconds. Three. Three. Two. two. One. One. Change exercise. Brilliant. Right, we've got the caterpillar or uh, elevated step uh, step back planks. Three. I'm going to do the 
to step back planks at the moment because my back's doing a little bit tight. tight. So nice and straight. Out, I'm gonna go as far as I can and then back again. Pulling your tummy in to actually help you come up. It. Those of you still doing the caterpillar, good on you. As you see, when I get down to the bottom, I try and push my hips down to try and get a nice flat shape with my back between my shoulders and my heels. Three, two, one. Water break. Water break, right. Won't be a second, just gonna... Back when my girls were young, got a grow bag, thermometer, room thermometer. Gosh, it's registering, it's 23 in here. No wonder it's hot. Right, water break, so have a quick drink. I'm just gonna open the front door. The one problem with that, I think, going out of the house. Do your job. I forget about the front door. Oh, now that is pleasant. Right, we're ready for hop squats in 15 seconds. Oh, that's gorgeous. I might have to stand off the camera so I can actually get the, no. Are you ready? In seven, five, three, three two, two, one. one. And it's hop squats. One. Last time round. You'll be thankful for this, won't you? Well, you'll be thankful for the actual exercise class. I hope. I heard there's a, this is present, so it's the 12th of June, that apparently there's a heat wave coming. Don't see it, I feel it, but I don't see it. <laughs> Remember those people who don't want to do imp high impact, you always do bum kicks. Oh, forgot what I was doing then. Five seconds. Three, two, two one. one. Right back to the bell. Exercise. Shoot back. So you step back, straight leg, arms back. Three, two, Swap. one. Exercise two. It's a little bit like our flash dance form, but we don't raise our knee. Also, if you want to break, slow it down. <laughs> hint number 370 on, I don't know what number we're on for hints. If you want to work or show you're working and you want to rest, go slowly. Sometimes it puts your muscles under more strain, but you can get, get your heart rate down a little bit so you can breathe easier. At the moment, I'm in a seven or eight because of the heat. Three. On the RP two, scale. One. So, change exercise. Anywhere around about. Should be between there and there. Three, two, right. one. Exercise so do three. Sunshine squat in five seconds, actually. They'll let you have a quick rest. We'll do the ordinary 45 seconds. Now let's get into squat position and let's go. See how nice. Ish. Depends on which client you ask. That's it, good, keep it up. Twelve seconds left. Got a boogie coming up. Three, 
Two, one. Nice Change around the boogie. Size. Hip kick in one direction. Uh, dumbbells down towards the knee on the opposite side. So Three, pack your knee. Two, one. And let's Exercise go. Four. So you're kicking it out. You're not hyper extending your bike, you're not really twisting your bike. You just try to get those hips out, basically trying like almost like trying to push it out to the body that way. It's not upwards. Uh, which one? Oh, <laughs> did the wrong leg then. As I said, multiple things, explanations don't mix. You see also as well, whilst I'm doing this, I've got quite slightly about 14 degree bend over all the time. What I'm doing is to try to stabilise my back, I've got my tummy tight all the way through it. Five seconds. Three, two, two one. one. Change exercise. Brilliant. What we'll do is for this one, we'll do punch downs. Give your shoulders a bit of a rest. So we'll do Three, punch downs, keep your tummy really tight for this one. one. Exercise we'll five. We'll put a little bit of pressure on the small of your back. Do, 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 do. That's it, good. If you want to do shoulder uh, alternate presses, you can do. That's almost like an episode of Friends. Okay, a couple of just blown in. Wonderful. 12 seconds. 10, 5, 3, 2, 2 one. 1, change exercise. Right, we've got a flight to do now. 3, 2, 1, and exercise 6. Up and out. I'm going to be a bit slow now because uh, my sciatic nerve is starting to tingle. Or as a couple of my clients say, the fizz. I think that's a perfect name for it, fizzing. If you get a nerve pinge, impingement or a bruised nerve. Those of you who've had sciatica, you know how absolutely painful it can be. So you've got to be careful. Stretching your glutes is a great way of actually relieving sciatica. 15 seconds. Ten. Three, two, two, one. one. Change exercise. Excellent. Hand turnovers. Should we do a bit of a different one? I think we'll do a bit of a different one after this one. Three. We're gonna do two, hand pull out. Uh, shoulder pull outs. So exercise keep your seven. elbows in the side. Push back. Get my shoulder blades retracted. So the dumbbells are coming together. I'm going to grab hold of them slightly on the inside so I can get my hands close together. But try not to smash your little fingers. Especially with tins of beans, they hurt a lot. I said, do, I need, do I need some beans from the shop today? No, we've got a tin left. Eleanor loves the beans. My goodness, I think she would be a tin of beans. Can you really feel those shoulders now actually because you're working them like this? You're trying to keep your shoulder blades down at the same time. You're really working those traps on the shoulders. Three, Three seconds. Two, one. Change exercise. Right. We're just gonna do instead of twisting ones, we're just gonna do naked uppercuts. So it's gonna go Three, forward. Two, one. Exercise eight. We're gonna enough twisting, haven't we? I'm going to see what... 21. It's down to 21. Still a bit too warm for me, but... Well... Could be worse. Could be in lockdown. The virus rampant around the world. 
<laughs> or worse, you could be listening to me around about now. 20 seconds. Wittering on. Ten seconds. Three, two, two one. one. Change Excellent. exercise. Excellent. Cool. We're going to do the circular uh, uh, side step. Oh, circular boogie. Three, two, one. It's hard to get some of, the, one. some of my exercise nine titles out. As I said last time when we did this, the bigger the dumbbell, the harder it is because mine are quite big. I've got to turn mine slightly sideways to go over the top of them. Otherwise, it's a really big circle. Um, you could probably do the big circles. It's a lot more effective. Change the direction you're going in with the circles. It will work you a lot more, but just be careful as well. You are going very close to your face and your knees. Don't want to injure those. Especially hitting it with a tin of beans or a dumbbell or anything like that. Something soft, not so bad. Three, Three two, two one. one. Change exercise. Excellent, good. Right, we got... Oh, that's one. Right, what we're going to do this time? We're going to do... Three, if anyone's got a work two, surface, let's just one. do a plank. Exercise 10. Okay. So we're going to change it slightly. We're just going to go into a plank. Just hold it. If you want to do it on the floor, you can do it. It's a lot more intensive. So I'm going to do this. Oh, sorry. Loud noise. So I'm going to do a high plank. This is a high plank. This is a low plank or, no, or a plank. High planks I find easier sometimes on the elbow, especially when you haven't got any pad. It's also easier to do because uh, your body's not as uh, parallel with the floor. The angle's more acute. Oh, it's an acute angle. Right, 12 seconds left. 10. If you want to do the caterpillar, you can do. You've only got six seconds though. Three, two, one. Cool down. Excellent, good. Ooh. Right, let's do our cool down. Let's just march on the spot. Just uh, get your heart rate. Oh, I've got sweating there. Sorry about this. Wipe oh. the sweat from your face. <laughs> Down to 18 now, thank goodness. Right at the end. Right, well, into the washing with you. Right, let's let's start with the stretching now. Feet slightly wider than shoulder width apart. Nice straight. Straight at the hips. So bend at the hips, straight at the back. Bottom back. Let's go down to the toes, toes. Stand up, we're going to go into a long lunge. Okay, put your, if you can, you can put your knee on the ground as long as it's uh, nice and soft. I'm not going to, I'm just going to push forward. So clench your bottom, push forward, really stretch that thigh down there, and you're stretching over the glutes, the back of the hamstring. Same time, could be doing a lot of exercises, the twisting, using your glutes and the smaller your back. This is great for that. Three, two, one, and change. So I like to go into the reverse lunge position to get into this. Some people go uh, forward lunge, but I find it with uh, my osteoarthritis and my knee hurts a little bit, so I go backwards. As I can tell, with that knee, it's a bit problematic today because that thigh is really tight. Almost falling over then. 
Need to look forward, not at the camera. Three, two, one. Slowly rise up. Excellent. How do you feel now? Feel better? Right, well, let's do a thigh stretch. So I'm going to put my one hand or a couple of fingers on my work surface, foot into your hand or grab hold with a towel. Knee behind the other knee, so as you see, I'm moving it backwards. Clench your bottom and look slightly towards the cornice. If you have one, we don't. The reason why I say look up is because when you look up, you have stretch, the muscle that's attached to that hip also is getting a little bit extra pull. As long as you don't feel any pain in the small of your back. And let's change. If you do have problems and you can't get hold of this even with a towel, you can always put your foot on a chair and then just step a little bit forward and then just go down. You still get a nice stretch of your thigh. But it's the clenching of your bottom which, which does a posterior tilt, so it's put, the top of your, uh, your, your pelvis points backwards, pulls the muscle tighter over the, over the, over the bottom of the, uh, the pelvis. Three, two, one. Excellent. Right, let's stretch your upper body now. So let's do a nice rotation. So I'm going to use pink hand, the green bottom. Bit of a naughty twister, isn't it, really? I'm trying to keep the hips nice and straight. Push this other hand back to give you a little bit of extra rotation, a little bit of assistance. And let's swap sides. Forward, straight arm, Three, pink arm across two, the body, one. interlace over, Your timer pull, is complete. I'm going to look in the direction I'm pointing, so I'm going to look. If I've got my pink hand up straight, I'm going to look at the pink hand direction, not the pink hand where the belt's pointing. So it's a bit opposite of that hand. So I've got that, an extra pull there and one more on my traps. Slowly unwind, change it over. Two, one, stretch up. In three, two, one, and release. And thank you very much everyone for coming. I hope you enjoyed today. Uh, I have. Uh, it's been hot, been humid, but it's been fun. And that's the main part. Okay, so thank you very much all for coming. I hope to see you all on Monday. So to, uh, Monday we'll talk about the uh, number of calories held in the body and what that means. Or why I'm telling you about it anyway. So uh, have a good weekend and I'll see you all later. Be careful, be safe, and remember, there's still a six foot distance between each other. Okay, thank you very much. Take care for now.